Welcome once again back to the lab. It is your old Professor Pilk, and today we need to talk about the Charizard Raid. Now, this is a raid that's been around, of course, but uh, some people may not have run this. Some people maybe missed it. It was a very first seven-star raid, and you really had to complete the game. This is a post-game event, so maybe people weren't quite done with the game at the time. So we really need to talk about this. In fact, I covered this on my old channel, but I haven't covered it over here, so let's get into it, shall we? Now... First things first, Mon, you want to bring for this raid. This little weird Gentoo Mon is really the best Mon for the build. It, it sounds crazy. It sounds absolutely hilarious, but it is quite true. This little guy will do, well, I mean, take Charizard apart. In fact, with the right situation, he can one-shot Charizard. Now, we'll talk about that when we get into it. You will need other Azum rules to set that up, but he is an absolute unit. So, build-wise, you obviously want a Fairy Terra. Uh, mine is shiny, and I'm going to show you a little trick with that here in a minute, but it's not really that important. It doesn't change stats or anything. So, you want a Fairy Terra. You want a Shell Bell, as always. Now... You also want this mod to have thick fat, and you want to make sure all your stats, of course, are hyper-trained and bottle-capped, as always. I often forget to discuss that, but you want all your stats up here to be maxed out. Now, you could breed one. Um, in fact, that kind of is a great segue into the other, the other topic here. You could breed one, but you just want to make sure that your stats are the absolute best. Now, all that together. Fairy Terra, Shell Bell, Thick Fat, Max Stats, EVs. You really want to put everything in physical attack. I put some of my other uh, stats in special defense, but you got to have max out physical attack for this. Nothing else really matters too much. And by the time that he puts up his barrier or really that we get far enough into the game that we're doing damage, speed really isn't a major factor. So I don't really feel like putting a lot into speed is a big deal. Now, mine natively came. I got really lucky with him. Not as he's shiny, not as he have the right Terra, not as he have the right ability. He also came with a brave... Uh, a, uh, a brave nature. So I have physical attack up and speed down because once again, speed is not a major factor here. Um, you just want physical attack up and you just don't want special defense down. That's the biggie here. Physical attack up and avoid special defense down. Any other stat down is going to be just fine. Okay. So that really is kind of the setup there. Now to prove to you guys, I caught this this morning, 314. And yes, I'm a couple days late getting to this event, but I've also, I've had a very busy week. Um, so this was caught this morning, and that's going to take me over to my moveset. My moveset is Rain Dance, which I probably won't even use, Play Rough, Belly Drum, and Tail Whip. Pump the brakes, though. Belly Drum is an egg move. Yes, Belly Drum is an egg move. You can teach any mod an egg move if another mod knows that egg move. The process is really simple. I'll cover it in its own video tomorrow, but to make things really easy, if you'll notice here that uh, my Iron Hands, who does know Belly Drum, uh, has a uh, has a Mirror Herb, that's because Azumarill was initially holding that Mirror Herb. I just swapped their items. With Azumarill with a Mirror Herb and Iron Hands or Hariyama or whoever with Belly Drum, open up a move slot here. In this case, I had two slots open, but... Open up one slot here, go into a picnic, that mirror herb will learn any any move from the, that other mon in that picnic that he can use. I, in this case, Belly Drum. Pretty straightforward. Pretty easy stuff, right? So Rain Dance, Play Rough, Belly Drum, and Tail Whip. Now, once again, Rain Dance isn't super important. In fact, I could probably rearrange this and put Rain Dance at the bottom. I'll put Belly Drum at the top. And actually, I'll put Play Rough at the top. That'll just make life a little simpler. Okay, and that's kind of our setup. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So, if you want to know more about the Mirror Herb, we'll talk about that, like I said, tomorrow in its own dedicated video. You can learn any egg move without breeding, and I think that's awesome. So, otherwise, my shiny wouldn't have had it. I was actually having a panic attack earlier, and I completely forgot about that herb. So, big shouts out to, uh, to my man Yoko, who reminded me about how the Mirror Herb works. All right. So here we go. Now, first things first, you want to go on the offense. There's an outside chance you can get a uh, hit in before overheat. I I've had it happen. The main reason you would want to make sure that you start off with offensive move is because he removes negative stats there. 
So if you do something that affects his stats before overheat drops, then, you know, you get lucky or whatever, or he's just, just having a slow run, whatever, you'll be good to go. There we go. So we're going to open up with just a little bit of damage. It's not huge damage. It's not going to, like, affect much of anything here. All we're trying to do is build up to paralysis. Oh, I'm sorry, paralysis. Building up to paralysis, uh, uh, terrestrialization, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he is paralyzed, though, which is actually really awesome. I've gotten really lucky. All my partner mod have, have been able to paralyze this morning. It's been really nice. So I'm going to do a third play rough, and that's going to give me the uh, ability to terrestrialize, but I'm not going to do that yet. Now, we'll see how paralysis affects our run here. But now, at this point, I want to start doing tail whip. Now, here's the deal, guys. If you're running this, you can have three uh, Azumarils. Three Azumarils with a Blissey. If you can set that up, have everybody in your team attack with a really low hitting attack. Like, get rid of Rain Dance and attack with something just really low on the totem pole. Like, the lightest hit you can muster, right? Then, everybody tail whip twice. Then... You really only need one person to terrestrialize at that point. However, let's make sure he got all those stats. Yeah, okay, his defense is down twice, so that's good. So we'll tail whip one more time. Then, after everybody's done tail whip, after his defense is all the way down, then everybody terrestrialize, and ev or everybody belly drum, everybody terrestrialize, which belly drum's about what we're about to do on the next turn. Keep an eye on that. Notice he just removed my stats. You want to make sure that you wait until after that drops to do your belly drum. If you belly drum before that, and then you try to attack, you're going to be in a world of hurt. It's not going to be fun. Okay. So let's just double check everything here. So he put up his barrier. In a perfect world, I'd prefer to have done this before the barrier goes up. But it kind of is what it is. They happen in such short order. Okay, everything is set up. We're going to go ahead, terrestrialize, and do play rough. Now, once again, I want to say, as I was saying before, one Blissey, three Azumarils. All three Azumarils do a really, really, really light hit, like the lightest hit you can muster. You know, make sure it's something that's not going to do an insane amount of damage, okay? Then, everybody tail whip twice, and then everybody terrestrialize and play rough. Now, watch how much damage I do by myself here. Imagine if you could do that before he puts up his barrier. That, that is the one-hit KO. You would need, you don't necessarily need three Azumarils, but you do need three people doing Tail Whip. Uh, three we, three people doing double Tail Whip, and then, uh, or heck, if you got some Mon that could do Screech, that's great too. Blissey there for the heal, but honestly, if he didn't have his barrier up, we would almost one-shot him as it is. Basically, he'd be almost at the same state, if not lower. Um, plus, bear in mind, I've only lowered his defense three ticks, not all four. Azumarill makes this an absolute breeze. Now, the big the reason for this is, obviously, he's a Dragon Terra. Defensively, he's pure Dragon. That does nothing laughable. There we go. So, obviously, having a Fairy Terra is going to be the best possible situation here. Let's go. Super duper easy. I mean, couldn't be easier. Well, once again, I only tail whipped in three times. If I got all six tail whips out, imagine how much damage we could have done there. And we did get uh, we did get Urban Mysticus. So you can run this multiple times. You can do the uh, the, the time reset trick. Run it again and again and again and again, and farm this to the just ends of the earth. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So I'll go over it one more time. One hit KO, because a lot of people are going to want that recipe. Uh, I will see if I can drop a video on it later today. But if everybody does a just a really low rent hit, right? Lowest amount of damage you can possibly do with an attack. Probably even stick with a special attack with this mon, just because that will do less damage. Then everybody tail whip twice, right? Um, the exception, obviously, would be your support Blissey, which is just there to keep you in good health. Then, everybody belly drum, and everybody terrestrialize and do a play rough. Whoever hits the first is likely going to one-shot him. 
Uh, there's rare situations where it might not happen, just depends upon how low he is before you do that. But the reality is, at that point, you have taken him apart. In fact, what you could do, come to think about it, make it even better. Only one person to rastalize, everybody else helping hand. That, that would probably, no questions asked, one-shot him. So, there you guys go. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Like, comment, share as always. And I'll catch you guys on the next Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. Coming up tomorrow, we'll talk about the, uh, the mirror. That'll be a lot of fun.